yo 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 this is stars with magic where we talk about the stars with magic i'm magic and it's like what 12 30 <laughs> where i'm at and i want to talk about mars and leo okay now I haven't started the Mars series yet, but I'm going to tonight. Um, well, I'm just going to cover Mars and Leo, actually. I'll, co I'll start the Mars series later. But I want to talk about Mars and Leo because it's very, it's a, it's a wow. <laughs> it's a wow kind of Mars placement, okay? It's more wow than any other Mars placement, okay? It doesn't matter what other placement it's in. The only other Mars placement that is going to be as spectacular as, as Leo is Leo. <laughs> okay, so... Now, that really was not that funny. Anyway, so, when it comes to Mars and Leo, you've got to realize Leo is the king, the queen, the monarch, the ruler, the authority. Okay, the authority. Okay, Leo rules the sun and all of life revolves around the sun. Okay, and then when we have Mars here, okay, this is the war nature. This is the combative side, okay? This is the, the power, the way that this person exerts their energy, okay? What motivates them? What gets them turned on? What makes them mad? How do they fight, okay? What excites them physically? How do they, how does the body react when they are excited emotionally in an aggressive or angry kind of way? All right, so when we have Leo here, we really have the power of the sun coming at you, okay? When you are fighting a Mars and Leo individual, you might not even know that you're dealing with a Mars and Leo until you deal with a Mars and Leo, okay? Or until the Mars and Leo deals with you, okay? Because that's, that's really what happens, okay? Mars and Leo is very, very funny. Because Leo is always a happy energy. It doesn't matter where Leo is placed, these people will come out with a positive energy. Okay, they'll say, yeah, I'm, I'm dancing, I'm fun, I'm happy, I'm the shiznit. And they are, no matter what placement. It's, it's a great placement when it's in Leo. Except for the sun. Ugh. Anyways, okay, so... Um, but Mars and Leo, man, these people, when you cross them... When you piss them off, if you confront them with disrespect, you will be corrected. You will be corrected and you won't even know that it's coming for you until they get serious, okay? When Leo Mars gets serious, everybody gets serious, okay? Because they, it's like not only the pride, but the self-esteem of the Mars in Leo is unmatched you really can't question the authority of these people especially if they are actually in a place of authority <laughs> if they're actually in a place of authority and you come at them like who are you they will make themselves known and you might even be like oh pff, i don't care who you are the mars and leo is going to come through and be like you will you will even if they don't know anybody that you know they will find out you know People with heavy Leo placements, not gonna lie, they naturally have a lot of favor with people. Even people who they have problems with, okay? Especially if they're connected to like a, the true creator, okay? Of good and evil. These people will have a power that is um, totally, totally unafraid. Totally unafraid. Mars and Leo is afraid of no one. In fact, even a Mars and Scorpio is scared of Mars and Leo, okay? People are so scared of Mars and Leo when they get mad. When Mars and Leo gets mad, you didn't even know they had that in them, okay? Because it was all smiles and laughter until you pissed them off. Once you pissed off the Mars and Leo, the lion, like a hungry, ferocious, bout to take you out kind of lion okay a hungry angry lion 
comes for you okay so you know i would have to say it's kind of funny because of course when you first meet people you never know where their mars is placed okay but you will actually you might actually be able to see with the mars and leo okay because leo energy it has to make itself known wherever it's at it wants to be seen so the mars person might really be the type of person that um like let's say you're at a, at a club they'll be the first one on the dance floor okay putting on a show they love being the only one on the dance floor because that gives them the opportunity to shine whereas everybody's like oh what should i do mars and leo was like <laughs> follow my lead that's what you do and um you know mars and leo they have this vibe it's like you want to follow them you know you know that there's something that's gonna happen down the line you're gonna cash out on a major prize if you work with the mars and leo people who are really really smart and know how to identify value when they see the mars and leo person they're like boom see the thing is okay okay here's a great example Here's a great example of one of the sexiest Mars and Leo individuals that ever walked the earth. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, she had a lot of authority in the things that she did. Well, it, it actually depends on the rest of the chart. Okay. All right. But, but when you're really looking for the Leo energy, like actually how to see the Leo energy, think Sophia Loren. Sophia Loren, okay? Go look up Sophia Loren. She her chart was kind of mixed. It was kind of all over the place, but she had a Mars in Leo. And I don't know, I'd have to go look at her chart again, but I don't know what it was that brought that out. But her Mars in Leo was so heavy. You see in her clips when she's at, you know, doing her scenes and in a variety of the films that she was in, starred in that mars and leo oh my god she was so sexy oh my god she was so like the charisma the sex appeal the <laughs> that womanly like my god just oozing with um fertility okay if it's a female with the mars and leo she's gonna have this fertile fer fertile vibe you're gonna be like my god she's a woman my god and if it's a man, <laughs> this man is going to be noticeable. Okay, he, he's going to be one of the biggest, um, he might be a physically really large person. Okay? He might be very uh, full of pride. Like when you see him, he's like, <laughs> going around just chit chatting with everyone. Boom. You When you see him. Or at least you, you you just see him. There, there's no mistaking that you will see the Mars and Leo individual wherever they're at. You might not know that you're looking at a Mars and Leo. But I guarantee you, if you are in a public place and there's a lot of people around. The Mars and Leo person is going to stand out to you at some point or another in a significant way. Um, Yeah, and the Mars and Leo, it's kind of like a, if you try to confront them with disrespect. See, it's funny because Mars and Leo, like, they'll deal with you. They'll deal with you in a dignified kind of way. They have manners. They know how to... Um, what you got to realize about Leo is that this is the true... Th these are the... Um, these are millionaires, okay? Leo is the vibe of the millionaire. Leo is the vibe of the rich guy, the rich chick. They have it all. People with heavy Leo placements more than likely are the full package they have it all okay so when they have mars and leo even if you know when they're younger they have issues with their self-esteem or they get rejected a lot or whatever you will find that later on in their life the confidence of mars and leo i don't think there's really any other aspect in the chart that's going to put a cup on that there's no way that you can contain a Mars and Leo because when you have the sign of the king with the planet ruling war, you're not going to not see this energy. You're not going to not see that Leo Mars. 
um even if they have a moon in aquarius even if they have a sun in aquarius now i've even said in some other videos that when you have an aquarius placement it can significantly alter the entire chart to the point where all you see is the aquarius when you are interacting with them all you see is the aquarius right but when it comes to mars and leo or or major leo placements but especially mars and leo it's going to be the same thing you know it, it's going to be even more apparent than the aquarius energy in the chart though how much so depends on the planets involved or the heavenly bodies involved how they're aspected by outer planets like it all depends on what is but um these people are dancers these people are physical performers okay they can dance like nobody's business you might not know it you might not know it okay but when mars and leo gets on the dance floor oh my god they have moves moves that you couldn't have even expected you're just like where the did they come from i'm learning <laughs> i'm learning as they move on the dance floor like wow where did these moves come from they came from the sun baby okay so yeah with all that being said mars and leo people are tremendously powerful tremendously courageous okay the integrity is very important to them these people usually their core because mars is what what motivates us right this is our drive this is our our physical energy really this is our physical energy this is where you will see mars mars is the physical energy period and so these people's physical energy is just huge when you when they're walking down the street they're bouncing they're jumping they're dancing they're <laughs> bobbing their their head their hair is like <laughs> yeah they have swag okay this is the sign of a swag <laughs> I will, you know what? Well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I was wondering, I was like, where did all this swag come from? <laughs> uh, Mars and Leo, okay? It probably came from Mars and Leo, and it also probably came from Moon and Leo. But that Mars and Leo, man, like, now that, that really, it puts that sexual energy into the Leo, okay? Yeah, yeah, the sexual energy is huge with Mars and Leo, okay? Their sex appeal is huge. When you see them, you're probably just like, you know, this is probably one of the only Mars placements that you will actually see influencing the physical body. If they're women, they will have large breasts, big hips, booties, beautiful waist shape, just, just body, just like, like God or goddess. Okay. And with the men, I mean, he might have big shoulders, super strong arms, you know, just straight back, you know, just head held high with the long curly hair or whatever. Big hair. Um, yeah, just spectacular. It's a spectacular placement. All right, with all that being said, this will start with magic. We're talking about the stars with magic. Subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, let me know. And you know what, if you have Mars and Leo, let me know. I would love to chat with some other Mars and Leo people because we know we have it going on. <laughs> okay, peace.